And that brings us to 7.52 KNEB. It's time for News Extra, today brought to you by First State Bank. With our program, here's Kevin Mooney. Thank you very much, Dennis. Good morning, everybody. Uh, we have Rhonda Pierce and Samantha Rottinghouse from Twin Cities Development here today. And we're going to talk about the first annual 2015 Tourism Innovators Challenge. And you ask, well, what is that? Well, if you have a tourism idea, you need to listen up because you might be able to get some seed money for that idea. And it'll help you move that move that idea forward. So, Samantha, when is the uh, challenge and how do people get involved? The Tourism Challenge is coming up on September 10th. It's going to be at the Gehring Civic Center. Um, and if people have any ideas, they can contact our, our Twin Cities Development Office. We're also partnering with um, the Scottsbluff County Tourism, the Gehring Convention and Visitors Bureau, and the um, United Chamber of Commerce. All right. So uh, the idea is to get on the, the website that you guys have and fill out a form about what the idea is and right. then bring it to, uh, what is it, the Civic Center? The Civic Center on September 10th and roll it before a panel of judges and see if it flies, right? Exactly. We've got a panel of judges um, from different business development resources in the community. Um, and we really just want to reach out to people who have those ideas who maybe don't know where to go, who don't know the business development community in our area. Because we do have a great business development community, lots of different resources out there. And our goal is to connect those people with those resources. Okay, so if you have any any idea, no matter what it is, um, and you may think it's not such a great idea, but you never know, it might be a good idea to bring tourism to our area, kind of like the balloon races uh, being uh, reinstated here in another few weekends from now. Right, exactly. And we're very lucky to have um, a thriving tourism uh, community in our in our region um, but you know in order to to kind of keep the excitement for that and and keep people coming back here um, we we need to reach out to those people who have those new ideas and and kind of you know innovate all right so Rhonda this is the first time that you guys are uh, doing this particular thing how did that come about well, actually, it started with um, Steve Frederick with the Star Herald was saying that they'd like to do some pilot projects. And so we sat down and talked about it, and we decided, well, not, why not put the economic development and the tourism together to do a business challenge type of thing? Um, it really is about um, connecting the resources. So like I said, if you don't have a a complete idea it doesn't even have to be a full-time venture it can be something you just do on the weekends um, like during tourism season it can be you know with uh, sports tournaments or something like that it doesn't have to be a full-time year-round engagement as well so um, there's lots of different ideas you know when you go to the bigger cities you see bicycles along the pathways that maybe you can rent you, you see different things in different communities so it's like what can we do to bring that here and maybe this is just a way to get a little bit of money to try it or to get it started started so um and then we can give you the resources to put maybe a full-blown business plan together all right and uh, if you win the contest how much do you win well it can be from five hundred dollars to a thousand dollars um just depending on you know we right now we don't have enough entries so that if we don't get some more entries we may have to postpone it till the spring all right so we're hoping we get a lot of entries they want uh, at least up to six right so you got some competition and a reason to bring the, yeah. the panel together and all that kind exactly. of stuff. Exactly, yep. And we'll be on uh, September 10th, 4 to 7 p.m. over at the Gearing Civic Center. There's no cost. You just fill out the form. What's the website you go to? Um, the form is on our website, tcdne.org. Um, it's also on our Facebook page. And um, you can just stop by our offices on Broadway, too, if you'd like to pick up a form in person. All right, very good. We'll talk about a few other things right after this break. Hey, Nebraska, Dave Ramsey here. When I get asked where you should keep your money, for me, it's a no-brainer. Locally owned community banks like First State Bank in Scotts Bluff and Garing. They offer all the bells and whistles of the big banks, but with free checking that includes free e-statements, free online banking, and no charge first mobile banking, free ATM transactions nationwide, and no monthly maintenance fees. First State Bank. Scott's Bluff and Garing, member FDIC. Back on News Extra, and we're talking about the 2015 Tourism Innovators Challenge. It's coming up on September 10th. 
4 to 7 p.m. over at the Gehring Civic Center. We're going to have Samantha once again hold the flyer up for Dave so he can take a picture of it. And you can see this on the video on our uh, podcast area on KNEB.com. It's kind of the flyer that goes with the uh, whole event. And uh, the idea, once again, is to just uh, present some kind of tourism idea to TCD. Fill out a form, and there will be a panel of judges that goes through them. And you never know, you could win some seed money to get your idea going. So uh, one of the other things you guys are doing kind of involves uh, the area around your building, right? Uh, it involves a uh, commercial kitchen in the uh, E Center. Is that right? Yeah, we were just notified um, this past week that we were um, awarded about forty-five thousand dollars through the USDA um, U.S. Department or Rural Development um, Office here, and we submitted an application for a commercial kitchen to be part of the E Center. So. One of the things that we've noticed is, you know, we have a lot of people that do the farmer's market, but they don't have anywhere to produce those products. So this will be a full-blown um, certified commercial kitchen that people can lease for a day at a time, a few hours, uh, weeks at a time. Uh, we're not sure exactly how that's all going to work out, but we're pretty excited that we were able to get the grant. Um, it could take three to six months to build it, but we'll start here uh, real soon, probably the 1st of September. All right. And so... Uh once it's built, then people can uh, just go in and say, well, I, I want to use this for a couple of days, whatever. Yeah, right? we'll have a sign-up, um, some sort of sign-up sheet, and I'm sure it'll be pretty seasonal with, uh, you know, different canning seasons and, and produce and that sort of thing. But um, they have one in Fort Collins. I think that's the nearest one. And they have it rented for 24 hours a day, even into, like, except for, like, 3 to 5 o'clock in the morning or something like that. So they rent it all the time. And so it'll it'll be completely furnished, and it'll have pretty much everything anybody needs to be able to come in and, and be able to produce a product, a commercial product that can be labeled and um, put on the shelves. Because right now you can sell at the farmer's market, but you can't put it on a shelf at like Panhandle Co-op or Fresh Foods or anything like that. All right. And then people will just come in and try it out and see what the story is right well and part of that will be we'll bring in some on some classes that um from unit the unl food processing center that will teach them how to do it it's called recipe to reality and it teaches them how to do the labeling and, and the business side of it too all right very good so it sounds like fun we'll be talking about that more as time goes by but don't forget 2015 tourism innovators challenge september 10th 4 to 7 p.m over at the Garing civic center Stop by the TCD offices or go on their website at uh, tcdne.org and uh, you can be part of that particular event. Thanks for coming in, guys. Thanks, Thank Kevin. you.